this is really a striking filing by the prosecutors about these two assassination uh, ambitions of, of this guy. One, a congresswoman, the other a Capitol Police officer who he wants to track down and find and uh, enlist people in trying to find that Capitol Police officer to assassinate that Capitol Police officer. This same person is asking to let me out of, uh, out of jail while I'm awaiting trial. I'm not a danger to anyone. And the good news is he remains behind bars at this moment. And given the filing from the federal prosecutors, I'm fairly confident, Lawrence, he will remain behind bars pending trial. But, you know, this really does frame what we heard from Donald Trump. Donald Trump says that, you know, my supporters that day were hugging and kissing the police when perhaps Donald Trump misspoke. They were really hanging and killing the police or at least aspiring to. So, you know, but I, I hope, Lawrence, that we don't lose sight of the forest for the conspiratorial trees, because we are looking at what Donald Trump's foot soldiers did on January 6th. And whether it's the Proud Boys or the Oath Keepers, and we want to know, you know, where does Garrett Miller fit in? Is he part of a conspiracy? All of which is important. And I'm confident the prosecutors will sort that all out. But we should remember and blast out every day that they were doing the work that Donald Trump put them up to. He's the one who encouraged, he organized, he, in a very real sense, attack on the U.S. Capitol. And Lawrence, every one of these defendants who's getting locked up, the ones who choose to speak to the police, you know what most of them are saying? I was only doing what my president told me to do. You know, this is like a call and response conspiracy where Donald Trump put out the call and all of his supporters, his minions, his insurrectionists followed his command. That's why this case must build to Donald Trump. Glenn, this is another defendant uh, who, where the evidence shows that gun control works uh, because uh, there's information in here about him bring, bringing a grappling hook, obviously, for scaling the walls, bringing all this equipment that he planned to bring. And he specifically says uh, in uh, evidence that they obtained that he wasn't going to bring his gun in any of his guns into the District of Columbia from Virginia because they are illegal there. And so he lived in fear of the gun control laws in Washington, D.C., and that's one of the reasons that he and a lot of his friends did not go running into the Capitol with guns firing. You know, fancy that, Lawrence, that when there are gun laws in place or background checks in place or bans on assault weapons or high-capacity magazines in place, those laws can actually have an impact on the thinking of somebody who might otherwise want to take up a gun and do some harm with it. So, you know, if we have learned nothing courtesy of the mass shootings, perhaps we should learn from these insurrectionists who are actually saying, you know, I did take D.C. strict gun laws into account and I decided to leave my gun at home. I only brought my rope and my, you know, uh, Trump flag with a spear on the end of it. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.